He's a little puppy wuppy dog. He's a little puppy wuppy dog. He's a little puppy wuppy scruffy fluffy little puppy wuppy dog. Puppy wuppy dog. Bye bye. Look at the beautiful weather outside. Would you just look onto it? So wet. Got this guy hanging out with me today, doing office things. He's just here for the bacon though. <laughs> anyway guys, how the frigs are going today? Another exciting day in a rainy North Bay. Yay, yay! It is currently quarter afternoon and I am going to consider possibly making something for lunch. You wanna go outside? He's just been sleeping all day. Like literally, just sleeping all day. The hell is that? Yeah. Dude, uh, I got my garbage outside, so. Today is garbage day. This thing here decided he was done peeing because it's raining out and he doesn't want to get wet. Anyway, I need to figure out the frig I'm going to do for lunch. Don't really got much in the fridge. Oreo. Hey. Friggin' dogs eating cat poop. I tell you, these animals are disgusting. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do for lunch. Maybe we'll cook it fly in lunch time. Take a couple packs of these sausages out. Let these thaw. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So guys, I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna do today. I did some more research on that drum set and can't seem to find any information on it. Any useful information anyway. I'm not sure why it's acting the way it is where the one pad's working and the rest isn't. Oreo, what are you doing? What is over here? Oh, you're eating cat puke. You're even more grosser than I thought. Anyway, so I'm trying to find out exactly why the one drum pad's working. And I tried to plug it into different ports to see if I can get any response because we know that one drum pad's working. And I'm not getting a keyboard response or a keyboard, a gamepad response out of any other things. If I can get the device to work where it'll actually respond like like the keyboard presses or the joypad presses register what i can do is i can have the joypad basically uh, I can use a program called Joypad to Keyboard, and then uh, through Fruity Loops, I have the it has a built-in drum machine. Same with Magix. Magix has a built-in drum machine called Battery, and Battery you can assign keyboard letters to be different aspects, like your toms, your crash, your cymbal, your hi hat, your whatever. You know, you can assign all that to it, and then you're pretty much good to go. What I'm thinking is that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna try and get this thing wired up so that it'll work. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or not. I honestly don't know what I wanna do today. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe, well, tomorrow night we're playing Cards Against Humanity at my friend Clifford's house. I don't know if I'm gonna film over there. I might. We might film some funny, uh, some funny skits. I might add that in the tomorrow's vlog. Uh, tonight though, it's like it's raining out and I don't know if I really want to do anything outside because of said rain. Huh. The weather sucks. It's garbage. It's unfortunate fall. But the garage is ready pretty much to take the Trans Am. Uh, I'm not gonna move that in just yet because I might want to get one more rip out of it. Next week's supposed to be a little nicer in a couple days. So we might go for an after work little jaunt, you know, a little rip and a little rip snot in the Trans Am. Why not? The video came out today where I talked about the live, about uh, going live on YouTube live streaming. A lot of people missed that from last year when I used to live stream Scum. And like I said, I might, I might even live stream Scum again because let's face it, that game was actually pretty fun and it's gotten a lot of updates since I last played it. Now there's pedal bikes in the game. So you can save on gas and get yourself a BMX and cruise around the planet like a boss. So we can do fat bike fishing or something, you know? Whatever. Took some sausage out, some bacon and eggs in the fridge. Probably gonna do bacon and eggs for lunch because it's simple, it's easy, it's peasy, it's lemon squeezy. And yeah, guessing that'll be the strat for lunch. Super fun, happy times. How much time do I have left before I gotta sign back into work? I do have to say, I like how opened up this room got just by doing the simple, removing that tape. If I can't get these going, I'm just gonna tear them back down. Well, I'm gonna take a picture of them like this. Tear them back down, sell them on Kijiji as whatever. Digital drums, don't have software. 100 bucks or best offer. Sure, that'll work. Because I honestly have no idea what the issue is. If I can't get them to go, then I might as well just get rid of them. Sounds like a plan. 
Well, I just had to hook up my steering wheel to make sure it still works, and it does. Reason being is, I sold it. I noticed on the comments for um, the video games, people were like, oh yeah, I really want you to start playing like Euro Truck Simulator, or American Truck Simulator, I missed that. Well, to be honest guys, I hate that game. <laughs> I hate that game so much. I used to play it back in the day and it was all right. It's like that and like Farming Simulator. I don't know why people enjoy watching people play Farming Simulator. The game sucks so bad. Like I don't understand the appeal of why you'd want to sit there and watch a guy drive a tractor in a virtual environment. Like it's one thing if, if somebody's doing like an actual video of gardening or, or food management or something. Like I love watching videos online of people doing farm management. It's fun. You know, like watching like, uh, for instance, like Andrew Flair doing uh, he, the stuff with his animals on his little hobby farm or watching, um, uh, there's a couple people that I watch that actually have little little hobby farms. And it's like, you know, if I actually had the money, that would be kind of fun to do. I have a little hobby farm. I have a couple mini cows, you know, maybe uh, uh, I do not want a horse. I freaking hate horseback riding. It's not for me, not for me. That's the same reason why I don't like Tesla, like the, the car company, not the guy. The reason why I don't like the car company Tesla is I don't believe a car should have the ability to drive itself ever. And this is the same reason why I don't like horseback riding because I freaking went one time. So don't think I haven't done it before. I did do it one time and it was really annoying when you're trying to freaking go somewhere, but the animal you're riding has a different idea, has a different agenda. You know, you, you, you go, you want to go right, but the animal insists on going straight and the harder you try to force it to do what you want, the quicker it is to launch you off that saddle and send you into the dirt. Horseback riding is not my thing and neither is a car that can drive itself. Well, you've seen the friggin' story about the guys that were driving, running the Tesla and they sent the thing careening into the woods. So yeah, no, thanks. I'll pass. But yeah, guys, as far as farming simulator goes and Euro truck, American truck, all those types of games, they're not really my favorite. I'm more into the survival-y kind of games like the forest and Minecraft, scum. We're gonna give that hunter call of the wild a try because my buddy gave it to me for the exact reason of doing online streams again. Cause he was watching scum last year and he was like, holy crap. This game here, he's like, if Adam likes scum, because I was doing a lot of the hunting stuff in it, he's like, if you like this, you'll love Hunter Call of the Wild because that's literally where they got their hunting mechanics from for scum, you know? <laughs> and scum also has the fishing mechanics in it. And guess where they stole that from? Russian Fishing 4. So lately it just seems like scum is becoming this, let's steal from everybody else and put it into our own stuff and go from there. Also, they've upgraded the map too, so there's a lot more to explore, uh, which means all my progress from the previous streams, yeah, that's gone. We're gonna have to make a brand new character and go from scratch. I gotta pee. So yeah, we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna give streaming a try again. Not winters here. If you guys remember last year in the winter, that's when I streamed too. It's It's just, during the summer, it's like, it's bright till like nine o'clock at night. So the last thing I want to be doing is playing streams. And it's also hot as shit. You know, 25 to 35 degrees Celsius in the summer is not exactly, let's sit in a room where we got a bunch of mining rigs, <laughs> mining Bitcoin and play video games. You know, that's more of a, hey, it's winter time, minus 25 out. Let's go ahead and freaking do stuff and fun things and other excitements and junk. So what's going on here? Breaking, breaking with Oreo. As soon as I get the camera on him, eh? Just has to, just has to act a fool. Who's a puppy, puppy, whoopy, puppy, 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 dog, boy. What? 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 Remember last year, though, there was another game I streamed called The Raft. Was it The Raft? I think it was The Raft. No, what the hell was it? It was the stupid one with the sharks. And I remember uh, I ended the episode by purposely swimming down the mouth of a great white shark. Pretty good way to go. It's like, well, we're done playing this game. It's kind of stupid. Found a shark and literally fed ourselves to it. Why not? Anyway, yeah, if you're wondering, uh, if you're wondering why I'm testing out the stereo, I don't know if I mentioned it. It's sold. Somebody's gonna come pick it up. I wanted 150 bucks for it, but here's a tip for anybody selling anything on Marketplace. If you're not aware of this one, you probably are. If you want 150 bucks or something, ask 200. People will lowball. I'm also a lowballer on there. People will lowball all the freaking time. So 
always offer or always ask 50 to 100 dollars more than what you want unless it's a vehicle like if you want let's say you're selling a car you want 1500 for it ask two grand somebody will turn around and be like well will you take 15 for it you're getting your asking price i only wanted 150 for that uh, steering wheel i bought that thing used off of amazon back in well a long ass freaking time ago because i was playing the euro truck simulators and uh corsica and all those other games i just i haven't played a racing game or cared to play a racing game in forever it's you know we did it for a while we used to play euro truck online multiplayer and we do convoys and stuff and it was kind of fun back in the day but now i'm more into like the games i play like i said are more like scum and forest and was it tower defense balloons i don't know if you ever played balloons you you literally spawn monkeys to throw darts at balloons started off originally as a flash game that you'd play on like joe cartoons or whatever and then it turned out to be a steam game just like the uh, learn to fly with the penguin. I don't know if you ever played that one. You literally, you're a penguin and you're trying to learn how to fly and slowly make upgrades as you go and try and get your penguin into space. It's fun. Cause yeah, this winter guys, it's gonna be literally a mix of snow blowing, ice fishing, live streaming, doing what we can do to get the hell through winter so that we can get back into spring, summer and have a good time next year. I know I said that exact same thing last year around this time when all hell was was happening with the weather and all that and then this summer i barely even went fishing like i went fishing a lot but i didn't film a lot of it because people weren't really into the, into the fishing but now that i'm picking up a few little editing ideas and methods and things and just having some fun with the youtubes you know now that i'm literally just doing this for fun uh i figure um let's just have a good time and do whatever we do and if people don't watch people don't watch and if people watch people watch it's it's a good time you know i'll still comment on comments from time to time and uh who knows maybe i'll just incorporate commenting on comments into a video at some point you never know you never that could very well happen i might just decide right now be like sitting at my desk and start commenting on random comments that i saw on youtube well of course from my video but you know yeah oh hey crap guys look at that it looks like a pizza right that is totally egg bacon and onion cheese yeah it's the kind of cheese that you really want to eat right before a date well, i'm gonna go ahead and drive this in my face hole and then uh yeah carry on my wayward son well shift's over it's beautiful outside right it's amazing look at her out there it's all doom and gloom and beautiful weather nice night for a walk anyway i got the uh, steering wheel all packed up i plugged it in to make sure it still worked so i hooked it up to the gaming station here and it already had the drivers on there for it so when i plugged it in sure enough i did the whole spin the wheel one way spin the wheel the other way and then i loaded up the uh controller thingy just to make sure that the controller was gonna actually work roll the wheel all the way right left press the buttons everything was reading out so yeah it, it works fine it's perfect so get rid of it whatever like i don't really like i haven't played with that thing since 2017 ish somewhere around there and buddy's on his way now to pick it up like and it's like if you're not going to use it why hang on to it right the whole this whole year's big thing is about decluttering so one more thing i need to declutter out is this whole section of the room this whole back corner it's got a lot of my camping stuff in it plus some pajamas pants the uh dell computer which i need to fix that and put it back downstairs on my tv uh my bass guitar sleeping bag for camping cot for camping random hamper two blown monitors that need to go in the garbage these speakers that i was going to use originally for this drum set but now i don't even know because this drum set doesn't seem to want to work so i might just sell it 50 bucks get rid of it like i said it's all about decluttering right now getting rid of stuff making room because honestly having a bunch of junk see this is what it is 2020 january my aunt passed away and my cousin got basically was the one who had to deal with the estate and my aunt had a lot of junk like a lot and they had to go through it all and all that you know what if i pass away i don't want to have to uh have all of my junk fall on my parents or you know if they pass away before me then cool but um on my niece and nephew i don't want them to have to deal with all that nonsense of clean it's all stuff you can't bring stuff with you to the afterlife so why hang on to it if it ain't serving you any purpose if you haven't used it in six months if you've gone through life without needing it and i'm not talking about seasonal items i'm talking about general items i haven't played that with that steering wheel over three years it's gonna make me 150 bucks it's gonna make somebody else super happy like the guy i'm selling it to literally said he's making uh, a, a, a transfer 
transport simulator. Like he's actually building everything. I don't know, whatever. He's got a shifter for a transport that has a high low gear, but he needs a G27 for the shifter because a G29 won't work and a G25, they're too damn noisy. So the G27 is the best one for what he wants. So when he saw mine, he's 200. He said like, it's like my wife won't let me pay 200. She'll, the best she'll let me do is uh, 150. And I was like, yeah, sold. Cool. Come and get it. So he should be here shortly and we're going to make moves. And like, that's the thing. If you haven't used it in a while, why hang on to it? I have all these netbooks here, these two netbooks. Probably going to end up getting rid of those too, because I honestly don't need them. They're good for nothing. I might just reformat them with Windows 7 and then put them on Kijiji for like 100 bucks or 50 bucks or something just to get rid of them. Because honestly, I'm never going to use them. So why hang on to them, right? All right, guys, just like that, steering wheel is gone. Like I said, a lot of you are probably upset by that because you're kind of hoping for some more Euro truck or whatever. Eh, I don't care about that game. That game's kind of boring to me now. Big time. Kind of sucks that a lot of my games are on Steam too because you can't resell them. Like you guys remember back in the day of like Nintendo and Sega Genesis and even Sony PlayStation. You know, you, you get a game that's not digital, like you get the analog version. You get a game like, you know, whatever, Tony Hawk Pro Skater or whatever, and you get bored of it. At least you could sell the damn thing and get something else. Now you can't even do that anymore. You basically buy everything digital, and if you get bored of it, you're stuck with the damn thing. You can't get rid of it. You can't offload it. So it guarantees the developers make maximum profit off of the video games because you're gonna end up, well, you know, your buddy has it you're gonna end up going out and buying it too so they're gonna maximize their sales because you know if, if you get bored of it and your buddy wants it you can't really give it to him on steam. once the game's registered to your account you can't give it away steam should really come up with a solution for that but anyway i'm going to freshco I'm just waiting for potato to be done pooping and then I'm gonna go eat some food. I bought some some buns because I got some hot sausages there. I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer, cook them up, have some hot dogs for supper. It's super late, but tomorrow's Friday, so who gives a flying frig, right? Who gives a flying frig? But yeah, stuff and junk. Me! Another thing I want to attack is over here in this corner here. I got this like, I don't drink anymore, so it's pointless to me. It's a shot glass chest set. I might put that on Kijiji for like 10 bucks get rid of it um i don't know what else is back there's some pans those black things can go in the garbage that's my old rice cooker <sighs> Do I really need it? I got an instant pot that can do rice. Oreos, dog food. I got to put that. I'm going to put it into this old protein can for when I go traveling. I've been doing a lot of road trips and I got a couple of road trips coming up that I'm going to be doing too. And Oreos coming with me, which is a good thing. He can take drugs easily because that's what we're going to have to do. Oh man. I just finished doing some editing and watching a video and other things and stuff and junk and man. I am super tired. I need to go to bed. Had my dinner. It was good. It was very good. Very nutritious and quite possibly delicious. I'm going to let this thing out for a shit. And then uh, I think we're going to call it. What do you think of my fart? Was it gross? Scampers? Scampers? No, no comment. She's really mad at me, guys. I think she's really mad because like Oreo's been getting special treatment lately. And I try to give her the same treatment, but she's so freaking savage. Let me explain what the frig happened and you'll get my point. So normally I don't let the dog or the cat sleep in the bedroom because I'm trying to sleep and they're climbing all over me and being stupid. <laughs> well, recently I decided to start letting, letting Oreo sleep in the room. I wanted to see what he would do. I tried one night to let both Oreo and Scampers sleep in the bedroom with me. This was on Monday. Crying out loud, Scampers came in the bedroom, got on the bed, and literally pissed on my body pillow. She did it out of spite. Worst part is, is I'm laying there, and I got my back to the wall, but there's a body pillow behind me. Is my body pillow. My, it was one of my older ones, so like it's like whatever, I'll throw it out. I've had it forever. It's kind of gross. Been used for like two years. It's kind of flat. You know, it's just an old pillow. So I'll end up throwing it out. But it's the fact that she came in, she climbed behind me, and then pissed on the pillow out of spite. Like, I don't understand the behavior. The other day, and by the other day, I mean yesterday, I let her in the computer room with me and Oreo because she was outside, she was meowing, she wanted in. I was like, okay, you know what? We'll give it a try. We'll see how what she does. I'm working, so I just... Keep her out from underneath my work desk so she doesn't chew a wire or something, break to break my internet connection or whatever so I can't work. She literally goes over to where Oreo's sleeping, walks a couple feet away, and then just pisses right on the carpet. What the hell? Who does that? Like, 
She's so freaking savage. So I was like, all right, whatever, pick her up, throw her out of the room, come down here, get the ammonia spray. It's uh, not ammonia spray, it's like a it's, uh, enzyme. It breaks down cat piss smell, so it gets rid of it and it doesn't stick in the... I use it on the couch about 72,000 times to take her piss smell out of it, but right now it's about, it's almost a waste of time. It's better off just to grab the damn couch and send it off at the dump. It's She wrecked it so bad, it's horrible. Even on the weekend, Oreo's uh, bush jacket there, the black and, and red one, his plaid jacket you guys probably seen it on a previous video i went to go put it on him and i'm like wait a second and i smell it i'm like this thing reeks like cat piss she went and pissed on it so she obviously has some issues with oreo and i don't know what the hell her problem is. so can't let her in the computer room but i let oreo in there all the time because he just hangs out and he sleeps all day i can't let her sleep with me because she'll just piss on the bed and piss on everything and ruin all that i know a lot of you are probably saying adam just get rid of the cat because she's just gonna wreck everything you own i don't think that's the solution joss mentioned a product that she gives to her cat that will calm it down and take away anxiety I know Scampers has mad anxiety. If anybody comes over to the house that is not me, you can't find my cat. She's gone. She hides. She has a couple spots in the house where she'll hide. One of them I found out is that vent, which I gotta really find something to make it so that when I put the vent cover on it, it stays on. I might just rip a couple holes through with some brass bits and screw it right to the wall. Cause she will go in that vent and hide. Uh, the other one is, is behind the recliner. And if she's not there and not in the vent, the third one, I haven't discovered it yet because it's obviously really good. For all I know, it could be behind the fridge. She might be getting back there somehow. I just noticed that there's a behind the fridge. So, I don't know. She's a freaking weirdo. She's always been a pain in the ass, though. What do you expect? Feral cat, right? Oh, she'll never be a Felix. She'll never be a Felix. Felix was the best cat in the whole world. I miss that little shithead. He was fun. It is what it is. Anyway, guys, it's freaking late o'clock. I'm super tired. I need to get to bed. This thing needs to quit destroying all my stuff. And Oreo, he needs to quit bugging me for bacon all the time. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, remember, fish, lift, cycle, never stop. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.